Yesterday, the race recovery team completed the 2014 Dakar Rally as the T4 race truck thundered across the line here in Chile. A glamorous parade through the streets of Valparaiso marked the end of a 9,209-kilometer epic. Driver Mark Cullen, been a hell of an adventure. It is, without doubt, the toughest vehicle challenge I've ever done in my life. The uh, hostility, the environment, the temperatures, the 40 to 50 degrees centigrade, the sand seas, negotiating the, the hardest terrain, sleep deprivation. Um, this is the off-road version of Everest, and I'm uh, just really glad that we got to the end and uh, succeeded. Chris Ratter, it was your job to, to negotiate your way through some epic dunes and across some fairly nasty drops. Yeah, uh, we did come up with our plummety, plummety death, which, you know, when we've got a very, very big drop of several thousand foot and you're balanced on the edge, uh, just on relying on Mark's ability to get us in the right place, uh, a couple of foot the wrong way, and we, we are suffering from plummety, plummety death. Uh, very tough, hardest thing I've ever done, and um, uh, we've achieved a fantastic, uh, a fantastic achievement. Daniel Baz Whitting, you become the second amputee to, to finish the Dakar after teammate uh, Barney Gillespie last year, and the first in a truck, of course. Amazing achievement. Yeah, I'd have, um, I've never expected to have done this, having about four years ago had my leg uh, amputated, um, or the rehab back at Headley Court, so I've been able to do this. Um, and as again, as all the rest of the guys have said, it's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Uh, not only as an amputee, just as, but as a as a person trying to deal with the sleep deprivation and all the other uh, pressures it puts on you. Fantastic job and truly inspirational. But of course, Pavit, it is very much a, a team game, the Dakar, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, very much so. Um, and what happened when the two cars went out, we had to switch to supporting the truck and all the team had to switch their sleep patterns to do that and put an extraordinary effort, really, on the team. It's a big team effort. If they've worked again to, so hard to get Baz across the line, um, and it couldn't be done without everybody being part of the team. Fantastic achievement.